This fish report is brought to you by River King Tackle and Outfitters in Bullhead City, Arizona, located on the 95. Also brought to you by ArizonaWaterfowl.com, Arizona's number one waterfowl guide service. wind that just seems to not stop it's been going on for a couple months almost every day keeping a lot of us off the water but it has affected the bite over the last couple of days We're looking for improvement tomorrow through the weekend with the warmer weather and a little bit lighter wind but what do you do when the bite gets tough you've got to change your game you know we're big proponents of the jerk bait and we all know that the jerk bait catches the most fish around here but what do we do when the bite's tough? Yesterday afternoon, Elijah, I, and Cameron went fishing out on the river, full skunk session. So you gotta change some, some stuff up. So when the bite gets going tough, you can still run jerk baits, but there's a little twist. The soft jerk bait. Now we're not talking about a swim bait, we're talking about a soft jerk bait. A lot of times when the bite gets tough, it's really good to go, especially for striped bass, um, to go into soft baits. And when you think of striped bass, you don't really think of soft baits, but there actually is. This here is a jerk bait that is soft. Now, you're gonna run this and fish this just like you would a jerk bait, only it's soft. And there's a few different ways to rig this up. If you can cast with the wind at your back, if it's windy, and this applies when the bite's tough, whether it's windy or not, but let's talk about how it's windy now. So if you got the wind at your back, you can go weightless on these, but the wind's gotta be at your back. And it's a simple, simple, simple process to set up. You just go through, you take your hook, plain shank hook, in a size two, six, whatever works for the size of your jerk bait, go right through, the eye there just like that and you can see how that's there and you just do your palaver knot on this and you fish this just like you would a jerk bait if you've seen the episode on how to fish a jerk bait cast that out it's jerk jerk pause reel in your slack jerk jerk pause reel in your slack these will act just like a jerk bait um, except they're soft so this is one of my favorite colors. It's like a pinky olive army green with some purple and turquoise and silver specks in it. Um, this is a five, uh, a five inch, five point two, it's like five and a quarter inch. Um, these are my favorite colors. So again, this is that green pumpkin juice it's called. And there'll be a picture here uh, up over my shoulder. And I also like, the watermelon red sunfish. This is something more that I want to throw in the middle of the day. I like the darker colors in the low light conditions, like the first couple hours of daylight and into sunset, and then these lighter colors as we go later into the day. Uh, next, oh, also too, um, you can rig this up with the jig head. Um, these are some of the jig heads that we use, so if you gotta go, Against the wind, casting into the wind, or side to the wind, you're gonna have to suck it up and put some weight on. So a nice jig head here, and you can see the type of jig head here up here on the screen um, on how to rig this up. So moving on to the soft swim bait. And I'm not talking the big huddle stems and all that. What we're trying to do is to get a strike. We want to just catch a fish. We're not really going for the monsters. It's a slow bite, we want to catch fish. My favorite way, to use these swim baits. This is a five inch. Um, one of my favorite colors, it's kind of a shad color. It's got a little bit of silver on the gray on the top, some specks and some silver on the bottom. Now, I really love these weedless, um, these weedless weighted hooks. 
So you can see down here on the shank, it's got the weight, and then it's got this nifty spring here. So all you do to rig this up is twist this through the spring. It's gonna hold your bait in place. So you got that there, get the bait facing the right side up. Find where it's going in, mark it with your thumb, push it through. Now you have a weedless swim bait here that's weighted that's going to help you get down and get into them fish. Um, here's some of my favorite colors. I'll we'll also show the setup right here. I like purple and silver. Great, great color. Oop, this turquoise and silver. But again, my favorite is this gray and silver. So guys, uh, also, if you're fishing the river, that's probably where you're gonna end up if it's windy. Here's the other tip. Where are you gonna find these fish? Look for a back eddy. A back eddy is where the water's calm or it's, swim, or it's circulating counter to the river flow. In that line, you have the main stem of the river current, you have the eddy, on that line that separates that back current or that eddy and then the main river channel where that current's going out, right along that line is where you're going to find fish. So hopefully these tips will help you. We'll have a fishing report tomorrow. We're hoping that the bite picks up. We thought this would be a great video to make for you since the bite has been tough the last couple of days. And what do you do? You can't do the same thing. How do you squeeze out some fish when the bite's strong? So go ahead and share, like, and subscribe. See you out there fishing.